Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are you today? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's a daily crumb to help you along your way. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, this is for you. Welcome to the Daily Crumb. With me, Wengish Nibe, Majaki Kwe, your friendly, free gifts, sweet grass water medicine woman, also Christiana Carr, Chris Carr, superstar. All this beautiful divine being right here. And welcome all you beautiful divine beings right here too. How goes it with you? Yes, a little later morning for me. Tuesday, it's all clean and shiny. Oh, it's a little bit. Whoa. I'm still a little drippy wet. <laughs> still dripping. I was debating on whether just to get her to dry my hair um, to be warm because uh, I've been getting chills. But it's a sunny day. It's not as cold today. So beautiful. Is it sunny where you is at? I don't know. I did a little talk it's, um on my begin within with the begin within guidance with Wingish Nibay Majeki Kwe on the YouTube. Um, so there was a 20 minute video. I think I did a, was it one yesterday? I think I did another one to do an intimate closet talks, but I didn't want to climb into my closet. So, but they went 20 yesterday was like half an hour. Today is like over 20 minutes. So instead of cutting them down, doing all that kind of stuff on uh, the tickety talkety, cause that editing stuff really frustrates me. And that's not what this is about. <laughs> Grace and ease, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, so anyways, if you want to watch, Watch those. There's more of my story there. I probably should set up a Patreon or something. I don't know. I'm just, uh, I share to help others. I'm not sharing for show. And to help m my own healing heart, too. Anyways, here we grow. Here we grow. It was uh, kind of a funny, kind of sad, kind of funny. <laughs> I'm in self-relationships, -re 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 my personal relationships, and... <laughs> My silly, my silly self, and that's okay. My weirdo self, and that's okay. I love me as I am. I take me as I am. I love me. I, I can be funny. <laughs> silly, and that's okay. And I hope that I'm doing it in a loving way. Some people would say they'd lovingly tease me, but it hurt my feelings. When I do it, I don't hurt my feelings. I laugh at myself and go, yeah, I love myself even more then. <laughs> we look at your silly ass. Makes you love you even more. Look at you. Just put yourself out there. <laughs> I'm so scared, but I do it anyway. I always have felt the fear and do it anyways. I used to run and hide. Nobody come to find me. So I'd be like, well, I'm going to spend my, my, my life hiding. Nobody's going to come find me. So I got to put myself out there. No matter how scared, and I and I do, I just, <laughs> and I do. <laughs> ah, woof, woof, woof. People who love themselves don't hurt other people. Mm -hmm. See, this is why. Another reason it's so important for us to love ourselves. Misery loves company, right? Uh huh. The more we hate ourselves, the more we want others to suffer. Dan Pierce, I don't know. How does that go for you? Do you want others to suffer when you're hurting? If somebody's hurt you, do you want to hurt them back? Do you want to show them how that feels? How do you like it? I don't know. Do we get into that? Well, can't beat them, join them? I don't know. What is that for you? Reflect on a time that you hurt someone else. What inside of you was out of balance during this time? Have you been able to rebalance those parts? I said 55. I got 55.33 um, left of recording on my thing there. So anyways, that's just uh, stood out to me for, for, for a moment there. So 55. So what inside of you was out of balance at those times? And have you rebalanced those parts? Look at that. You know what? I think the ones we end up hurting the most is our children. Can we look at that? And what's out of balance? And that's what I look at. I know I've hurt my children. I haven't mean to, but I've been totally out of balance, trying to bring myself back into balance. 
You know, because they, they can be overindulged and stuff like that. But why would they want to be here if their mom's just crying? Mom's just sad. That's not how it is all the time. You know, but then when there's other things putting in their heads, it could feel like it is all the time for them, and it's not. And other things, you know. I think the one I heard was the most always myself. <laughs> My little inside. I don't know, what is that? So another reason why it's so important to love ourselves, right? Because people who love themselves don't hurt other people. We're not going out and looking for them to make up for stuff, for other things. The more we hate ourselves, the more we want others to suffer. Now, what is that for you? So you've been able to rebalance those parts. And when you do hurt somebody, how do you apologize? Do you do that with just words? Do you do it with showing actions to make up for that? Or do you go, you know... Hey, I'm sorry I hurt you, but it's all your fault. <laughs> That's a lot of apologies that I got from people. I'm sorry I hurt you, but it's all your fault. You know, somebody else, too. I'm like, you know, I could use the friend. You give me a call or whatever. Because there's lots going on in my life. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you because I need to hear you. Well, then, then that's for you. That's not for me. And I'm having a, I got to get used to that. It's okay for me to want things for me because then I can be there for others too, right? Let's put this back there. Hmm, I don't know. What is all of that for you? So how do you make up for times that you've hurt others too? We all have. We all have. We all have. No exceptions, right? If you don't think you've hurt anybody, right, then maybe you're in denial. I don't know. Because it just doesn't say... Oh, when did you intentionally hurt somebody? Right? We just been out of balance. Hey, maybe, maybe it hurt somebody because oh, we're, we're stressing. We use that tone. Oh, just don't ask me any questions right now or something. I don't know. Whatever. Right? Maybe that hurt their feelings. I don't know. I don't know. You didn't mean to, but still, do you blame them? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. If your feelings are hurt, then it's your fault. Oh, God, I hurt that so much. So much. That's why I take such responsibility. None of these people meant to hurt me. So it's my own fault that I'm hurting. <laughs> How much sense does that make, right? Hey, yeah, my little took that on. I took that on. This is all my fault then. I can just keep hurting myself. I say that. I break my own heart. Expecting something. I don't know. They don't have expect expectations. I don't plan anything. And then uh, that's pretty sad too, right? But let's look at that is wisdom and inner knowing. Horsepower. That's their empower, empowering all the rest of the weasels. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Now, what is that, right? Let's just tap in and follow that flow where we're guided to go, even when we don't know. Right? Why am I keep swimming up this stream? I don't know. But if salmon never followed that flow, right? Salmon would cease to exist. What is leading in your life, right? Hey, Yoka, <laughs> we let the fear lead. We let the fear prevent us and hold us back. But now we need to be guided by love, right? We're not driven by fear. We're guided by love. What is that? What is leading in your life? What are you allowing to take that lead? Are you following? And in that the divine timing, are you trying to make something happen in your time? I don't know. What is that for you? Right here says self-sacrifice. I was just talking to somebody about that too. This was the man's way of, 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 of honoring the woman and what it's like to give birth, right? That self-sacrifice. They're pierced right through that pectoral muscles tied to the tree of life, dancing to and from that tree of life, sun up till sun down. But hey, what does a mother go through when giving birth, right? Blood, sweat, and tears in that room. So that was the way that the men could relate to that, right? And give back that self-sacrifice but sacrifices to make sacred making your life sacred taking action as you're guided to take is there an action you've been guided to take but you haven't you haven't have you been afraid talking yourself out of that can you laugh at yourself and go ha, 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 ha. what am i afraid of i keep holding myself back now how how do you do that what is that what's calling do you have to sacrifice and ego thing you have to sacrifice oh my goodness if i do that then i'm gonna have to take responsibility what no 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 oh my goodness if i take those actions i'm no longer a victim <gasps> i don't know what is that for you all right but definitely love ourselves more it's more we love ourselves we're not going to go out there hurting everybody else i don't know 
How's it go for you? Biggest heart hugs ever. Yes, thank you for being you. Shining your light through and everything you do. Because you know what? This world needs you. Just to be you. Fully holy and true. Don't let this world miss out and all that's you. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you choose to stay every day. Let's grow, grow, grow. Slow, slow, slow. Make this another wonderful blessed day. Love you all. Turn that around. <laughs>